Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Rise of the Robots campaign. This is the second part of us getting shut down with the Avenger. We successfully killed the assassin in the first iteration and then we cleaned about half of the map and I called it quits and also install kind of a new rule just to make it a bit more interesting all of the sparks and our psyops are moving on the left hand side of the map whilst all of the rookies need to explore the right hand side of the map isn't that going to be fun it probably is so let's without further ado let's jump right into the action the idea here is we want to kill the remaining cars as well as the actual big gun uh, that keeps us from progressing and yeah it's our it's our main priority to make sure that the avenger integrity doesn't drop any further so let's just move all of the sparks up into kind of that fire line that i was talking about a bit earlier we're going to use glaive here as continuous cover blue moves for everyone at the same time, we're going to move over here. Good, I needed to clean up some system memory. Now it works much better. Good. Uh, on the other side, we're going to move on the right-hand side with the rookies. And I'm always saying clean X, uh, playing clean X coming means effectively um, going and uh, trying to do the blue moves first. That way you do have all of the reaction capabilities just afterwards. I don't want to trigger these guys yet. So all of this here would trigger them because there's all of a sudden a line of sight between us and them. This here would trigger them probably as well, which means uh, although it might not be the most s fulfilling move, I would actually like to move, ah, that is triggering actually like to move the rookies over here Good. so we're pretty close the tension rises but no one does anything at the same time let's see what our towers can do in order to help us to destroy the cars probably not much nope so you guys go on overwatch okay more overwatch good everybody's on overwatch which in return brings us to back to the sparks inevitably very nice explosions whenever the sparks are handling business you can expect that there will be explosions Let's give Vector here a chance to also blow up this truck. Hell yeah, that was good. And Dagger takes an overwatch. Matter of fact, we're overwatching with everyone because we have not engaged. Next turn though, things are going to change. Okay, so how can we motivate them to take decent positions? This here is much more open and the enemies will only engage or act upon information that they have at the point when you reveal them. So if I reveal them from here, they will think that everybody is over here, not knowing that we have a pretty large force right over there. Roger that. We're taking advantage of that situation by triggering with a single character and all of a sudden surprise we had a lot of characters on the other side all along okay so let's move over here i got a nice flanking shot and we should take that All right, that's how rookies kill with sneaky, sneaky tactics. OK, 
Okay, we gotta remove this Overwatch, and the best way of doing it, quite frankly, is to um, destroy that truck. I'll just hand over teamwork ability because this is a pretty tough pack, and I want to maximize our actions. Okay, that's seems like a good start. Moving Halo forward. Why is that only six points of damage? What's wrong with you? Why? Isn't that a plasma rifle? Oh, okay. It was six points of damage because the game was telling us it would explode nonetheless. Okay, cool. Good. Now, let's take the no regret moves. The no regret moves being we're using our um, towers to remove cover. And the way you remove cover is you just take shots at uh, these enemies. If you miss with the shots, there is still a pretty decent chance that the cover is being removed. See? There you go. Now the guy is completely without cover and we might as well have a chance to hit it. Nope. Not this time, but it was good nonetheless. Cleaning up the vision field for the towers is pretty important. Good. We're not going to help the rookies, not with our sparks. Do we have blue screen rounds? Yes, we do. Okay, cool. Good. We could go to here and maybe even flank both of them. It's not a bad idea, actually. Who else has blue screen rounds? Let's first of all use all of the towers. Like I said, no regret moves. 20%. It's just a matter of 1 and 5 and you will eventually hit okay so we would have blue screen rounds over here that's good who else has actions left over true rebel could also go here does he have no he does not have blue screen rounds um, xu6 could move over has blue screen rounds could take that position and that is an option as well however we can could also hit over here good so we got blue rebel xq6 Toxic here has a Mimic Beacon, we might want to save him. Let's start with, again, the kind of no regret moves. Wait a second, whom is he teamwork with? Okay, perfect. Because th this here are shots with blue screen rounds and we might want to just hit it. Okay. That's unfortunate. I would still like to position in full cover. Let's hit the heavy mech. Pretty nice hit. Good job. We're continuing with heading over actions to XQ6, who hopefully finishes that mech. Very nice. Good. Gotta be sneaky with the rookies. Gotta be sneaky. Okay, we got True Rebel. Not really having a great position, to be honest. Might as well fall back into a better position. 
for next round. And we do have Toxic finally to drop that Mimic Beacon. Let's drop it over here so that both of them will need to move over here. Okay, cool. Vector moves up and we are finding another pack. The automatic overwatch triggers pretty decent damage, but that will also cause them to split. Wow, Vector even triggers twice. Okay, clone splits. That's a bit unfortunate. Good, we're moving over here. And let's just say for the sake of this exercise, we're getting a free kill and a free movement out of this. Perfect. We're then taking full cover over here. Oh, look who panicked because he just saw the rage suit. Do we need to get your mommy? Oh, we could dominate him. Yeah, I'm going to do that if we kill all of the others in time. So yeah, in case you are unaware, uh, the rage suit has the ability uh, to, or has the chance to, uh, to basically, oh my gosh, I just misclicked, mm, that was stupid. Has the ability to panic berserks, just like, uh, the Serpent Suit has the ability to panic snakes, and so on and so forth. We're going to take a cooldown here, because I misclicked. That was unfortunate. Let's take a couple of shots. So that's an ensured kill. And let's take more shots. That's a dodge into a clone. Into hopefully a kill. Perfect. Good, we can't really get the last Codex, it will Psionic Bomb us, so might as well try to deal with this guy. And we got another Berserk. Holy shit. Guess who is going to be very, very mad. And we'll start to Hulk smash his way through it. So far the rookies are not really doing the best job to keep up with the pace. Certainly doesn't help them that there is another enemy coming over. And by the way, like that codex said, okay, fuck it. I'm not going to fight uh, these guys anymore. I'll just switch sides. Ta see you later. Bye bye. Hilarious. Okay, so I don't want to be greedy. There might be another pack here and you really never know. So. Taking a good position. That's unfortunate. Wait a second, let's start with the towers. We always want to start with the towers first. That's a miss. And another miss probably. 25% is not that bad. Technically, 
and there should be one in the four oh, a hit if you have enough shots just like we do at some point you're going to hit that's even 30 percent there we go ah we couldn't that, that was wasteful we couldn't really remove the cover there so might as well just have ignored that one Okay, we'll come to these guys in a second. I think we got another teamwork ability. Yep, left over. That's exactly what we need at this point. We'll keep him for the Mimic Beacon. The DM uh, keeps the Mimic Beacon alive. How is that even possible? The guy stands right in front of him, has a fully upgraded rifle, and he misses twice. Not only once, but twice. No, I know how it's possible, I'm just giving him a hard time. He deserves it, fully, That's, there's absolutely no question about that, but I'm still giving him a hard time. Yeah, that's how it's done. Good. We're moving all the way around here. Unfortunately, that movement costed us a lot of momentum. Don't want to go here. That's just to open. I I really don't want to trigger anything else. I hate standing in the open. It's not a good. Uh, it's not a good strategy unless you really know what you're doing. Don't do it. Okay, we know that that here is a safe place. DDM can reload, and True Rebel goes on Overwatch. One side is done. Berserk starts moving up. Does not trigger anything. All right. Moving as ordered. Moving as ordered. We're pulling our fire line up. Moving. Okay, I'll go. Good. That's an Overwatch. The Berserk cannot really overwatch. We're going to reload, overwatch, and reload. Next turn we're going to engage. Berserk ends the turn. Okay, we do not want to let that happen. Moving up, Dagger takes the point. Advent forces in targeting range. All right, so first things first, we do have four towers and there's a little trick if you manage to spot out the cannon, there is a chance not in this, uh, not this time, because the, uh, it's the worst setup for it. But I still wanted to mention it. Uh, if you don't have these massive hills in front of you, you uh, technically can target uh, that generator. And with a generator, you usually end up. Uh, you usually end up um, having the the guns uh, shoot or the turrets shoot at the generator itself so that in itself is helpful you could have had in an optimal case eight shots essentially killing the generator exploding all of uh, this and half of your job would be already done that is not the case for us but no need to sweat we're still going to do it we saved some explosives for that specific case here. OK, 
Can we sort of at least hit behind that tree? No, no, that's impossible. I am asking myself why it is impossible though. Okay, we're definitely ready to go. We got all of uh, the cooldowns ready. So this here could hit, nicely could hit both of them and take away the cover. It's not the best rocket that I could think of, which would be placed right behind that tree. But apparently that was not possible, so we're now finding ourselves in a situation where we're doing the second best option, which is shredding all of them and murdering them brutally. Thanks to Overwatch and thanks to Hair Trigger. This is really going our way. Good. We're moving the Berserk in mainly so that it attracts fire. I also want to see if another group is pulled. Good. Moving up to here, we're going to uh, we're going to act soon. Nullens would be an absolute fantastic answer. Unfortunately, I think that we are too far away to really engage with that. We got stasis though, uh, which could also help. So yeah, Nullens can kill either of these three. I'm going to just save that for now. Vector does not have overload, so let's proceed going in. Let's further proceed to kill that admin officer. Very nice. That worked like a charm. We're going to overdrive. And Glaive cleans the house with, first of all, killing that mech. Then continuing with overdrive and the elite trooper. Okay, down to 1 HP. Do we have a stock? No, we don't. I find it very wasteful to use Null Lens on this guy with 1 HP. Because realistically, what is he going to do? He's going to shoot the Berserk, if anything. Also, I do have a 90% shot. We're going to just go to town with killing him and I want to save now lens good left hand side is safe and secure the shield bearer will probably just attack the berser make him even more angry and then it is hulk smash time let's get the loot advanced expanded magazine is fantastic Good. The rookies are continuing to move up. In some cases, in other cases, they are just reloading. Let's not use the towers yet. We're double moving. Good. Close formation, as I'm always saying. Reloading Overwatch with the towers. Not that they're going to hit shit on this distance, but still. Overwatch. We got an outloader, so might as well just Overwatch. And there's another Overwatch and another Overwatch. Okay, cool. 
Bomb. That's the next hit. Okay. Hey, mate, feel free to just stand right next to the big fat explosive cannon. Oh, that is totally fine for me. Berserk charges in, but fails to deliver on the Hulk smash. Yeah, still can't hit anyone over here. So I was wondering... You know, we might just be able to... Friendly fire? Oh yeah, absolutely. I have no problem with that. It's just a Berserker. He is expendable. Now reloading. All right, we're reloading. Fireline is standing nicely. Just ready to take down the battery. Nullens does not reach him, so might as well continue just taking this uh, thing down. Pretty good amount of damage overall. Alright, let's move up. Oh, oh, oh. That's not good. That's not good. Chrysalids. Uh-huh, yeah. And we do not have explosives. My natural instinct tells me to very much run away and leave these guys alone. Good, we don't need cover to fight them, which means it's just a matter of timing how far away we need to stand from them. Haywire hey, here needs to definitely get as far away as po oh, Wait a second. Which mimic beacon are we using? That's a good question. Good, we're moving to here. XQ6 will do the most important thing, which is hitting all of them with a flashbang. That reduces movement. Very good. And now we're not instantly and completely and utterly screwed by them. Hayward moves a bit further back and those 50-50s Let's at least get one of them down, please. Okay. Moving to here. Very good, True Rebel did a great job. We're not taking a shot. Yeah, 0% is not gonna work. Nope. Headed there now. All right, and just because these guys are so incredibly dangerous, I'll put a lure out here. Got another mimic beacon afterwards, so we're not completely. We're not completely screwed. They are standing together. Advent versus Advent, and no one is hitting one another. Wonderful. Okay, first, <clears throat> let's continue the fight against the Chrysalids. Who 
in here has another mimic beacon. Good. Highward is going to be our savior. The others continue to move even further away. Not good. That's affirmative. Put up the armor. All right, slowly but surely we're wiggling them down. Position confirmed. The EDM kills one. Enemy That's down. great. Good job. Let's move to here. True Rebel takes another shot. Very nice aiming skills. Moving even further back. Excuse 6. Come on, let's focus fire. One percent. Let's take a shot and Overwatch. Well, Overwatch doesn't really help us. Pretty low chances to actually kill these guys, but I'll take five percent as a fire support any day of the week. The rookies are trying their best just to get a bit further back. Okay, so that's a better chance to hit. 10% is still not great. Okay, fair enough. Hayward moves back. Let's keep them at distance, so I th I'll throw the Mimic Beacon as far away as possible. There we go. Successfully disoriented. Vector moves in. And this will probably severely injure, if not kill, the Berserk. Ready to engage. Reload. And we're going to kill. Good. The Berserker is mobbed up. Which means in return, we can conclude that the Sparks actually won. They cleared their side of the house much faster than the enemy did. Had some extra time to come uh, over and even help with supporting fire and now they are cleaning up the chrysalids. Well, what am I going to say? Rookies remain to be rookies. I salute your valiant efforts, uh, six rookies, but three sparks and a psyops were just much better. That's what it is. Good job, everybody. It was a fun mission. Perfect, we're back. So, Toxic and the EDM will not take any promotions. We got still residual damage at some of our sparks unfortunately no one else got promoted we got ourselves however advanced focus that's okay and uh, which is even better an advanced um, expanded magazine because that really works well with the sparks gotta hand it to them that their weapons yep we got an expanded magazine here 
and we got a superior hair trigger. You know what? Uh, I hate uh, replacing a scope, but I would also hate uh, to replace the superior hair trigger. Let's stick with the advanced magazine for now. We can maybe use it later if we get a third upgrade for the weapons. Good. So we got shut down and we pretty much showed the chosen who's boss by killing her in one round and now we have enough Elarium and alien alloys to upgrade our armor that's fantastic we're going to get 800 at the end of the cycle so what else can we take intel is an option intel is probably the option here we want to continue upgrading everything and we already figured out that due to double resource uh, scanning you just saw that we had a massive influx in alloys and alarium that's fantastic let's hopefully get that with intel as well but before we are doing that we need to do a mission and this here would be fun Advent surveillance only soldiers of sergeant rank or lower are allowed on this mission so that might be a rookie only mission i like the intel i don't like the very hard difficulty and the dark event is not really that bad the hidden dark event is probably worse and this here is even worse than that so we're probably going to take that mission the scientist is okay we we'll, we can use we can always use an extra scientist unless you have researched everything it's not going to be the greatest reward but i don't want vigilance to come through that's a pretty it's pretty nasty to play with massive detection ready uh, you uh, you can imagine it's twice as high so it's very likely to run into someone so we probably are forced to really counter that specifically since we're running permanent dark events you always got to think about like what do you want to allow the enemy to have we're still being repaired and that's fine but we got healing so i don't mind that at all psi operative training continues Quick feed would become our third psy uh, psyops once we're done with that. And even more importantly, we're having our pr uh, resistance ring mission with Hogbite finding the stronghold where we finally would know where the chosen is and uh, the, the Templar chosen, which is, I think, uh, the, the um, warlock, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's, um, it's actually the assassin. Oh, I would gl gladly kill her because she's just super annoying. Yeah, if, if we have finished this one here, we can even hire a further Templar, which would be great. So having him on, having another Templar on the missions and Hogbite explicitly only running those covert ops missions would be fun because then we can see kind of a low le uh, low level templar in action whilst hogbite as a colonel can sort of continue to go through these i'm not 100 percent sure how to deal with some of the missions where another um, soldier is explicitly needed but maybe roby can help in those specific missions i would like to train him further so it's one of the things that I wanted to achieve as well. Okay, cool. This sort of brings us to the end of this episode. If you enjoyed it, uh, as always, leave a comment and a like uh, down below. And see you in the next episode, guys. Bye-bye.